So we're going to do another mechanism for um, the sinusoidal curve of circle and uh, line. Um, this is a little bit simpler than what we've been doing before. Um, that's the one on figure um, on the left of this page here. So, uh, this mechanism is uh, similar to the ones we've been working on before, but uh, uh, simpler, as I said. Um, so, you will start by having a, um, a subsidiary line parallel to the axis, parallel to the y axis, and we'll make it a particular distance away. Uh, we use the distance constraint between the two lines uh, and make that distance A. So that makes them both parallel and um, specifies the distance between them. And so now we're going to create, there's going to be a slider operates up and down that. So we'll uh, join the slider. This line that's length is not going to be specified. And then we're going to have another line uh, Coming off of a particular length, like it be, and uh, it's perpendicular to that uh, subsidiary line, in other words, parallel to the x axis. And then a third line with the slider, of, again, the specified length of b. And we'll drive the whole thing with an angle. Uh, here with theta, and our curve is drawn by D. Uh, let's see if we uh, move this and move that uh, quite up and down. Uh, we can get the curve using, uh, I've got two things selected so the locus doesn't show up. Uh, so click away and then they get, get one selected, then the locus is there. Um, and theta is my uh, the parameter is going to vary, uh, and there's our, our curve. Uh, what does it look? What does the equation look like? Equation of that curve, okay, not. And um, this is the so equation there. Um, x cubed x y squared. Uh, so it's a cubic uh, equation. Um, of course, we can if we change b um, if we change and uh, a specific a particular value of b. Uh, in fact, it'll be uh, half of a. It'll go. It'll become. Uh, a uh, simple curve. Let me just make that change over two. Over two. And let's get the equation again. And this is the sysoid of diet history. Uh, 